Hey study buddies, so today what we're going to be looking at is our market equilibrium. So we have over here our demand and supply curve. Now when these two curves meet, which is at this red point, we have what we call the equilibrium point. That means that our quantity, which is being supplied, is equal to our quantity being demanded, right? Because this comes down here, our quantity demanded and quantity supplied is the same. So here you have our quantity at equilibrium. Then we also have our price at equilibrium. So that is your equilibrium point, when essentially when your demand and your supply curve meet. Now let's say that what if our price was set above the equilibrium. So here is our price. It's a, clearly above that equilibrium point. What, what happens at this point? Well, if we extend our line graph here, we have quantity supplied, which is going to be at this point. So this is your QS. And then you have quantity demanded, which is going to be here, QD. Now, it is clear that your quantity supplied is much greater than your quantity demanded. So, we can write that out over here. Quantity supplied is greater than your quantity demanded. What does that mean? That means that you have excess supply, right? So, excess supply. What, what does excess supply mean? It means that you are in a surplus. So that's your key word right there, a surplus. So that is what happens if the price is set above the equilibrium. Now we'll say, what if the price is set below the market equilibrium? So as you can see, our P1 is over here. It's below your equilibrium price. What's going to happen? Well, let's extend our graph here. We have here our quantity demanded. And over here you have quantity supplied. So it is evident that your quantity supplied is less than your quantity demanded. So here you have excess demand. And what does excess demand means? That means that you are in a shortage of the product that you are producing. And so what I'm trying to get at is, is that a shortage and, or a surplus is not necessarily good, right? Because here you have too much supply. Who's going to buy your goods? And then over here with excess demand, well, you have a lot of people demanding your product, but you're not, per, you're not supplying enough, okay? So what is the best point? The best point is that market equilibrium where your demand is equal to your supplied or your quantity supplied is equal to your quantity demand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.